All right, lesson 37, we're going to use Google Maps. We're going to use Google Maps for this. You can use Google Earth or Google Maps either way, but I'm going to show you on Google Maps on what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the distance that was traveled during the Texas Revolution. All right, we need to cover Google Maps before the quarter ends. So we're going to look at the distance that was traveled through the revolution. All right, so here we go. Using your knowledge of the wars in the Texas history and Google Maps, chart the distances between the battles and the hours it would have taken to walk, since there were no cars. The items in blue are the locations on the map to look up. Start from San Felipe de Austin and the Battle of Gonzales. All right, then think about walking. Okay, so I'm going to start from San Felipe de Austin, and I'm going to go to the Come and Take It Monument. So... I'm going to go to Google Maps from San Felipe de Austin, historic site. Here we go. And I need directions to, I need directions to come and take it monument. Come and take it monument. There it is right there on the top. Come and take a monument. All right. So if it says car up here, it's an hour and a half by car, but we have to walk. No cars back then. So it would be, my answer would be it's 92 and a half miles, and it would take 30 hours. So 92 and a half miles and 30 hours. All right, and now I'm going to move from the Battle of Gonzales to the Battle of Goliad. And I'm going to keep moving myself down, and then I get a total of walking. And this is some distances that were covered during the Texas Revolution, okay? All right, wrap that up.